Among the newly retired officers are three assistant inspector generals of police, Eduardo Chom, Andrew Solowen, and Hassan Kasinje, who did not attend the function. Others are senior commissioners of police, commissioners of police, assistant commissioners of police, and 34 assistant superintendents of police, who are the majority. The assistant commissioner in charge of pension at Minister of Public Service, Ojo Kongom, applauded police retirees for serving Uganda diligently and advised them to use their retirement benefits wisely. I enjoy need to prepare mentally and psychologically. Financial planning can only be achieved if you adopt a life of discipline and manage expenditure. Inspector General of Police, Okotho Chola, who presided over the event, urged the retired officers to exhibit the highest degree of discipline and continue living exemplary lives. I therefore call upon you to always see yourselves as good emissaries of Uganda Police Force and never allow any selfish interest to blemish the integrity, wisdom and courage you have nurtured over the years in this great disciplinary institution. AIGP Eduardo Chom, who served the police for over 30 years and retired as a director of operations, expressed dissatisfaction with how many retired public servants are treated after they leave service. The sense of belonging to the institution for which we dedicated ourselves for the most valuable part of our life is also lacking. Some retirees do not even want to be associated with the institution. We have seen this. There are those who ever since retired have never stepped here. Ochom urged the government to increase the budget for the Uganda Police Force to enable it to execute its mandate as expected by the citizens. Limited training and skilling of officers, welfare issues relating to accommodation, medical services, equipment, etc., etc. We pray that the government increases the funding for UPF to perform better. The officers at this retirement ceremony officially started leaving service on 21st November 2021. Police expects to retire about 500 personnel by the end of this year. John Cliff Wamala, NTV News.